The artist archetype is the one I will be working with today. And according to Carolyn Mace's archetype cards, the light attributes are expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses, inspiring others to see life symbolically. Shadow attributes include using talents as an excuse to mistreat others, posing as the starving artist to elicit pity. Let's see if we can embody the artist archetypes. I'm pretty much just going to randomly pick out some pieces here. Keep in mind that the artist archetype is the one who is willing to enter into the unknown. This is just meant to be a very quick exploration. Nothing that I think through too much. So I have this piece here that I had drawn on. I'm just going to turn it upside down. And this will be my canvas. Now, the interesting thing about art is can often be that the very first mark is the one that's hard to make because we're entering into that mystery. The artist seeks to deliver a message and that message can be to share an idea like activism or some political statement or something for the benefit of humanity or ecology, or it's for the sheer forth of putting together an idea that conveys beauty, the essence of beauty. Artist is connected to the creative forces of the universe. I think that the artist feels the experience lives the experience, has a sensual uh, five senses kind of embodiment of the, an experience. auditioning this beautiful bird that I had kind of fallen in love with and you know there might be a place for that um, I'm gonna give that some consideration in a couple of minutes because I also think I'm gonna do some thermofaxing going back to the uh, shadow aspect of the artist archetype is the fact that the artist can often feel depression, kind of sink into a really deep depression and eccentricity. Like, for example, Van Gogh cutting off his ear. Uh, uh, 
experiencing being a tortured artist and then often artists commit suicide. I mean, how many musicians do you know or even actors do you know that committed suicide? Yeah, so I've decided to use brilliant yellow transparent artistic artifacts. It's important to me to have butterfly because that's about the transformation and that is exactly how I see artist is alchemically it's about taking various parts and putting them together in a new and different way. In fact, there is this great book, The Archetypal Artist by Mary Antonia Wood, and she says, Paleolithic ancestors of today's creators have been described as magicians whose drawings and paintings and carvings approximated magic spells of incantations. Their art making was aimed at honoring, enchanting, and influencing the invisible powers of both preservation and transformation. And these were acts of prayer. So I'm going to leave you with in what way can you make your life a work of art? and that everyday acts are those that connect you to the higher divine source of creation that bring you this message, that bring forth this beauty to share with the world. How can you focus bringing more illumination and beauty to humanity? You know, if you have the artist, look at how you set the table at, for dinner. Look at how you dress and the way you carry yourself in the world. Where do you put the value of material objects versus the acts of creation? How can you make your life a work of art?